Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US 30 there is uh, still moving in the right direction after last Friday's amazing non-farm payrolls number coming in at 321 versus 230 estimates, which caused the uh, US 30 SPX to close massively at all-time highs. The Dow just missing 18,000 for as most global, other global markets doing particularly well on the back of that, albeit um, from over in Asia, uh, as Japanese and Chinese data massively missed expectations. So there's been some decent moves in some of the uh, FX pairs, uh, like the Japanese yen, for example, euro yen, dollar yen, uh, and some big moves in cable and euro dollar as well. So where does this leave US 30? Well, as long as we stay above 17,895, we're looking like this could be a new potential support level, obviously psychological potential resistance at 18,000 for the Dow. Uh, but that non-farm payrolls number, I really feel pay, uh, paves away for um, you know, potentially further gains on the US 30. Um, especially after it is such an important piece of data that, that comes out and affects absolutely everything from equities to the US dollar and commodities and everything else. So the US economy looking very good, other economies looking very sluggish, Eurozone and Asia in particular are uh, struggling a little bit right now. So UK 100, this is a bullish engulfing pattern, but the failure to break through again today, 67.71 is the next potential resistance level. Um, and we are kind of pausing for breath a little bit today. Moving on to Japan 225, uh, approaching that potential resistance at 18306. This um, is despite the fact that there has been um, downward revisions of some Japanese economic growth figures that, that came out, but the move in dollar yen is helping to push this up that little bit higher. So 18306 is the next potential resistance, and we're not that far away from there right now. So dollar yen, so dollar yen smashed through 120 in that non-farm payrolls figure. We're now halfway in between the range, looking at 124 spot, 42 is the next potential resistance level. We'll just be wary now of this uh, of this move. We have talked about this for a number of sessions here. Very unlikely, but you never know what the Bank of Japan might do when they, their currency is getting smashed about um, so hard, so heavily right, like this right now. So just be careful, but 124, 42 is the next potential resistance level. So moving on to Crude Oil West Texas, that strong US dollar is adding weight. $64 uh, next potential support followed by 59 spot 50. Um, obviously not much else to say about crude oil other than what we've said before. There are a lot of factors in play right now uh, which is pushing this lower. Gold, gold uh, got hit a little bit hard there on Friday because of that non-farm payrolls figure. Um, higher interest rates in the US sooner rather than later. I um, do think that this potential support here at 1186, if that breaks, uh, the next potential support level will be around about 11.37. Um, but this sell-off in gold was not as strong as what I might have expected following that incredible non-farm payrolls figure on Friday. So there might be still a little bit of life left in gold in the short term. Um, but I think if we do break 11.86, uh, people will have to admit defeat, and that will be breaking below that 21 period SMA as well. Longer term potential support, 11.37. So finishing up with the euro dollar and cable, which both got hit pretty hard on Friday. Uh, euro dollar comfortably breaking below that one spot 2367 level, and up now at one spot 2047. So you know this is a technical breakout. The other technicals are quite neutral. Eurozone's in chaos. US dollar, US economy seems apparently doing so much stronger. Uh, and as I said, even over in China and everything else, you can, you can see the trade balance there is widened even further. Um, for, for, for China, some poor data from Japan as well. So finishing up with GBPUSD, technical breakout below 155.99 to 156. Our next potential support level now is one spot 54.24. I don't uh, expect it to be much in the way of economic data coming out that's going to change that picture anytime soon. So not much obviously else happening today, apart from China and Asia is, uh, is in trouble. And if we fast forward on the Tuesday, nothing hugely uh, important. You've got red book retail sales, more UK data. Let's fast forward on to Wednesday. You've got more Chinese CPI and PPI. Again, nothing absolutely major. Getting into Thursday now. And then you've got employment data and retail sales for the US. So there's quite an absence of significant macroeconomic data. Um, so the technicals are going to play quite, quite heavily. So, you know, you, we've clearly covered the technical levels that are important. Crude oil could be interesting. Uh, dollar yen will be talked about. You know, so many technical breakers. There's so many things happening in the markets right now. There are certainly opportunities if you know where to look. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your leg going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.